I was born in 1983. By the time I was old enough to be fully aware of the action gods of the 80s, their heyday was all but done. My only exposure to Jean-Claude Van Damme had been Street Fighter, and Arnie was just the big guy in Twins. But thanks to the wonders of video and DVD, I have been able to catch up on so much awesome source. Predator is still one of the finest films ever made. Rocky V, despite being generally panned, does have some very good moments, certainly in the context of the series. And Universal Soldier is better than it should be, thanks to Dolph going mental. When I say jump, you say how high, got it? I tell you this so you can fully appreciate where it is that I'm coming from. I love this shit. And so, on to The Expendables 2. The acting is on occasion woeful, the dialogue is often abysmal, the plot is almost non-existent, and I loved every goddamn minute of it. This film made me want to punch the air and shout fuck yeah on so many occasions it was absolutely untrue. Everything I enjoyed about the first Expendables is back, ramped up a notch or two, and is mercifully free of that shaky cam crap that seems to be infecting action films of late. In terms of action, The Expendables 2 is something of a hybrid. It's modern action with classic sensibilities. For example, when the staff is in full flow, so much of what he does would have been the money shot in a film like, say, Cyborg. On the other hand, unless you've got superpowers, these days the good guys don't plough through an entire army of bad guys without getting a scratch. Suffice it to say, the action had me grinning like a loon for its duration. The climactic action sequence, however, gets a special mention. I can't tell you too much about it because I'm not enough of a dick to spoil its awesomeness for you. But it features one moment that I've wanted to see for over a decade. It has another moment where I suddenly thought, holy shit, as I twigged what it was I was seeing. And the whole of that climactic action sequence made me cry with laughter. Another special mention goes out to Jean-Claude Van Damme. He is fantastic as the bad guy. He brought a good feeling of unhinged menace to proceedings, and without wishing to give too much away, it was great to see his signature move on the big screen. <laughs> I only have two issues with this film. The first comes very early on, and it would be a complete spoiler to say what it is, but trust me when I say you'll know it when you see it, and it constitutes probably the biggest shame of the entire film. The second is the tone. Nothing feels out of place or disjointed or anything like that, but at certain moments it seems like the makers are trying way too hard to push forward some sort of dark, gritty, war as hell message, which is fine if that's the sort of film you're trying to make. But that sort of message can feel a tad odd when in the very next scene you've got action legends quipping like it's 1985. The best word I can use to describe The Expendables 2 is satisfying. I was very satisfied when the credits rolled. For what it is, for what it was supposed to be, for what I personally wanted it to be, I could not have asked for more. And this is quite probably the most satisfying action flick I have seen in years. 